Hey guys, IRL Games here today bringing you a review for the game Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. Um, if you enjoy this game review or even are just needing some help with achievements, I am doing a full achievement guide um, over the next couple of weeks. So it's going to be running through all six different episodes and all the different endings that you have to do for all the achievements. But let's go ahead and dive into the review today because I know that's why you guys tuned in. And thank you so much for watching this. And I appreciate um, the developers for going ahead and sending out that code just so that way I could give you guys a full review of what that looks like. Kind of my overall thoughts. So you do have the option to make different major and minor choices um, throughout the game. And throughout the six different episodes... Um, some of these choices will kind of impact the overall end game of each episode. Now, the main reason I say each episode is because even though it is one connected story, um, they are kind of loosely tied together. Um, again, just depending on what endings you kind of get, um, as you can imagine, it'd be a little bit hard to kind of loop everything back together. And you'll kind of see what I'm talking about as you play through the game itself. Um, if you're a fan of different indie films or even um, indie movies, this is probably going to be a great option for you. Um, you know, moviegoer, not necessarily into major gaming, um, you'd really enjoy this. Or if you're even um, looking for a more laid back gaming experience, you know, sometimes after you're playing really intense games, sometimes you just want to sit back and watch the story, make some choices and not have to worry about um, doing a quick like button mashing sequence or anything like that. Um, but this is definitely a game that I would recommend for a more casual gamer. Um, if you're kind of looking at a way to dabble your toes into the gaming side of things, this may be a really good option for you too, as you can just kind of make some different choices you're watching along. I do find that this is really enjoyable to um, play with friends, family, um, as you guys can kind of vote on the choices together and um, kind of make your own movie or game, if you will. Um, so that's something that I always find really cool about these sorts of gameplay mechanics and um, story-driven narratives as well. Um, overall acting-wise, I would say that this is better than a lot of other indie voice acting. Um, you can see the different dynamics where it does change between um, just their everyday life scenario and again based off the choices you make that can kind of impact some of the relationship friendship um, dynamics there as well without giving too much away um, and then you also had the radio host side and you know hearing from the different locals calling in so I think that's pretty cool to hear all those different dynamics one thing that I do um, want to bring up as well is this game is intended for more mature audiences. Um, so there are different innuendos in the game and um, some different violence aspects at some different points. Um, just so that way you guys can be aware of that. Um, if you are a younger audience member, you may want to wait a little bit. Um, or if you're just reviewing this for um, maybe a younger audience member that you know that you're thinking of buying this for, that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, this game is in its own universe, if you will. So there are some tie-ins to other games um, that I saw people were talking about in the different game forums. Um, even if you don't know what that full picture looks like, I can assure you, it's still going to be a great experience. Um, I haven't played all those titles, so I couldn't tell you, you know, every tiny Easter egg that's linked in there. Um, but I've heard that there's definitely some opportunities there where you can see that. Um, one thing that I do think is really cool, too, is just to see how different some of the endings can be. Um, again, really changing the whole entire trajectory of the story, depending on the choices you make. Um, and I know that's one thing that a lot of people have caveats with, um, you know, when they're kind of thinking of these sorts of games is, is this going to work? How, you know, sound is it um, with, you know, your choices actually making a difference in the game? Again, um, if this is the sort of game that sounds like you're interested in, um, I do believe it's around $12 on um, Xbox Marketplace, maybe a little bit different for like PlayStation. I'm not sure if it's on Switch, um, PC, things like that. Um, but definitely recommend wishlisting it because I know they have a few different titles and bundles um, that sometimes can go on sale. Um, so would definitely keep that in mind if that's something you're interested in looking at overall. 
Um, I would give this game about a 7 out of 10. I would say it's definitely really great quality in regards to the different storytelling. Um, some of the different symbolism, I would say, is pretty interesting, too, just to kind of you know scratch your head and be like, okay, what are they actually saying here um, within this story and kind of seeing how those choices play out, as you can kind of see here, and you can compare that with other gamers. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, if you did, definitely let me know, and again, I'll be doing some achievement guides and walkthroughs throughout the game. Uh, but I hope you guys have an awesome one, and as always, stay awesome.